Let's go. All right. Um, freeway between here and the kitchen for egress. Okay. There was none. Um, we moved the smoke detector out because it was too close to the wall. It was actually on that stud there. Oh. Um, this wire here. This is the one I was telling you about yesterday. Goes nowhere. Yeah, it just ran up into the attic, and that's how we found it. Unbelievable. Just like that, you can okay. see. That's oh, that. that's hilarious. And then, um, <laughs> it's a pulley <laughs> system without a pulley. Right, exactly. Then in this room, there was no dryer circuit. No dryer circuit. I ran that yesterday. Okay. Um, this here needs for egress three-way from here. To that back. To that back. Yeah. Switch there. Okay. And well, I'm not single. guaranteeing that these even have power run to them. Right. Because we found some in the front that didn't have power I that we had to run power to. Um, I reconfigured all that. That was one of the correction notices. One of the corrections, okay. And then when I pulled the insulation out yesterday, we have a I have no MIA idea wire. what that's for. And you're supposed to take all abandoned wires out, right? All abandoned wires need okay. to be taken out. Um, so I don't know what that's doing. If he's picked that up somewhere, that could be very dangerous. Um, what else? The kitchen. He has, now I'm not sure on this, but from what I've seen, he has a three wire home run coming for the disposal. Okay. You can't run three wire for a home run because you cannot share a neutral because now you have to go to arc fault breakers. Right. You can't share a neutral on two circuits. I got you. So that's, that has to be changed. That's no bueno, but we do have our under cab lighting there. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's right. good. We have a fridge, yeah. We have our fridge. Do we have our stove? You have a 110 outlet here. Okay. That's okay. Um, fridge and stove and overhead. Okay, so it's all there. The first day I, night I came in, I went through the kitchen. What you do not have is a dishwasher circuit. You need a dishwasher circuit for sure. Right. Oh, that's your disposal. disposal. Well, it should have a dishwasher right there. Mm-hmm. Or right here, actually. Right. According to our plan, okay. Okay. So we need a dishwasher circuit. Um, and then, Overhead's okay. Overhead's okay. Do we have an overhead in this main room? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. All right, I'm sorry. Keep going, please. No, that's fine. That's fine. And then in here, we did this yesterday. He had the switch over here, but it did say move the door over. There was no three-way between here and here for egress, because you can enter the room right. both either, ways. Either or. So we installed this yesterday. To get that working. Okay, so there, we got egress now. There was no smoke detector in here. No smoky, but there's a smoky there, there now. Okay, good. Okay. Um, this room. This is our vanity. Right. So we have the power for vanity, okay. This room looked to be okay. And we really didn't get into it yet. GFCI. Mm -hmm. And three okay, ways. out the bench. From here to here. But I'm not sure it's wired right. From what we were encountering on the outside. I got you. Double check all the wiring. Yeah, okay. because we found stuff stubbed up, and you'll see downstairs as we go down. Okay. Um, and then here. And then Paul, I'm sorry. You're what was the name of your electric company? No Limit Electric. No Limit. No Limit. That's no right. Limit no Limit Electric. electric. Yep. And um, boxes like this. I mean, you're rated well on Angie's list. We really appreciate your uh, service and time. Coming out here. Well, thank you. No problem. Sorry for the hassle, but that's not mounted very well there. That's a little loose, right? Right. And then the <laughs> ceiling box in the uh, actual hallway, too. Oh, up there. It's oh, my God. It's extremely loose. It's totally loose. I need some backing or something. Yeah. That one looks really off centered. Okay, so <clears throat> reset some of the boxes. Definitely make sure that they're installed and fastened properly. Wow, this has a major. Sorry, that's the framing. That has nothing to do with you, Randy. And then oh, here's this looks the good. That we were looking around. And you see, we got wires coming down. Just mis mystery. This is a switch leg for mystery the Mystery runs. I got you. Oh, I got you. Okay. Which is just here. Yeah, loosey-goosey. And then you got another one that's right here. So none of the lights down here are hooked up. I gotcha. Um, 
in here. That looks awful loose there too for an outlet. Right. Doesn't look like it's fastened properly. Mm -hmm. And stuff that I would be <coughs> concerned about, um, and it's not really necessary, but I don't like this kind of stuff. You see how he pinched that wire? Ooh, right. Um, that could be a potential problem. I got you. Yeah, no, it could. Um, and I Especially would, if it got creased. Right. It I wouldn't cramped. have it like that. Well, it it's would be replaced. Randy did have a, a Wahoo working for him. How did we get all this water down here out of curiosity? Do you know? I have no idea. I have no idea. Okay, but uh, what about this room? We have obviously our overhead. Mm -hmm. This should be, though, should be, well, no, shouldn't be cans, I guess. There's our smoky. There's we have our by code. We have all of our outlets. It looks like we do. Yeah. Here's okay. the next problem. Let me go out and grab my lighter or ladder this real is, quick, Todd. This is what's leaking. Or. What's leaking in here? Looks like... I don't see any moisture on the wall. Looks like it's coming right through here. Right through there. Yep, came through there. There we go. Yep. But anyway, okay, sorry. And I really didn't get a chance to go So what through. else do we have that we need to review Here's, on the electrical for Randy? Okay, let's go up here. Okay. I need to grab my ladder and show you a few things. Um, can we tell real quick so we can do the video and kind of wrap up the video sequence of this? Yeah. Walk um, through. You're going to want to take video of this. Um, okay. Right up in here. Uh, see if I can see it from here. Watch yourself. Let me pull this down. You'll be able to see it. Um, none of these up wires up here are stapled. None of them are stapled, so they're all loose. You can see. Yeah. And I don't know... What concerns me is this, is you got a junction box up there. He's got like a six by six junction box. I got you. That code requires it to be accessible. And it won't be accessible after it's rocked. Right, right. Um, and it also... So we either need a, well, it's too small of an area for a an attic access. So if we're going to do a junction box, we've got to make a little access right above the junction box. Right. Right below the junction box. Right. Sorry. Anywhere that it's accessible, or you can right. put it facing down in the room, which is cosmetically ugly. Okay. Um, I want to open the panel up. Let's open the panel up real quick and take a look. That needs to be fastened. Yeah, and you got light boxes too in certain rooms that are just loose. Now, I redid this yesterday. Oh, shit. I grabbed the wrong screwdriver. Go That's all right. It. But what's going on in there, we'll just talk about it. Okay. I don't believe the house has enough circuits. Not enough circuits. Okay. Because I didn't see any basement circuits in here. Um, you got an upstairs master bedroom and bedroom two I got circuit. You. And I see nothing for the basement. Nothing for the basement. Nothing okay. for the basement. So, in a Maybe house it. this size, you should, should have it. typically 15 circuits. 15 to 17 circuits. And what do you have right now? Uh, roughly probably about 12. About 12, so we need yeah. about 15 to 17. Okay. Yeah. yeah well, um, and then anything else? Do we need to take a look at the garage? I didn't look at the garage at all. All so right. I have well, no hopefully idea that's good. What's Thanks. going on with that?